Okay, so, so we were we were talking about like the the different uh, stages of the soma um, yeah. breath work uh, system. So we talked about the uh, power breathing. Then we talked about the uh, the breath uh, lock. Was yeah, it? the holding the breath in, well, and mm -hmm. then uh, holding your breath out, and then you hold. Then what, you're going to get this sudden urge to breathe. Okay, and you have to override that. Okay. okay? So in the in the, the sutras, it says uh, you should hold your breath beyond the comfort zone with no air in the lungs mm -hmm. okay this is this is the most revered technique and so what happens is when you hold your breath with no air in the lungs for a, a certain point what happens is you get disease um, pass out well it can happen <laughs> but it's not a problem but the oxygen levels start dropping in your body and it creates a state known as intermittent hypoxia and during intermittent hypoxia what happens is you create this positive stress response in the body and you'll feel this rush um, of adrenaline uh, go over your body. And what this does is it actually wakes up um, stem cells in your body. And stem cells are cells that can actually turn into any other cell. Uh, and they usually hide in the bone marrow, okay? Um, they're in great, great number when you're just a developing fetus in the womb, which is a very hypoxic state when you're in the womb. And then you're born and all the oxygen comes in and this repels the stem cells because stem cells don't like oxygen and they hide in low oxygen environments. So when you create a systemic low oxygen state known as hypoxia, the stem cells come out to play. And they come around the, out of your body and they go to areas that need regeneration, need healing. But what you can do, and this is what the system of yoga is about, is using energy blocks to um, send blood flow to your brain. Okay, and if you know the, uh, the field of um, neuroscience, they talk about neurogenesis, the ability for the brain to regenerate brain cells. Okay? Yes, psilocybin mushrooms yeah. helps with yeah. neurogenesis. Yeah, so what I believe is that through the power of intention and, uh, and just using these, energy, these techniques, these energy locks and things, you can actually direct this neurogenesis, which will grow neural networks and parts of your brain that will help you get down the reality tunnel that you want to go down. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you're actually strengthening, reinforcing mm -hmm. um, this, this, uh, the, these uh, powers that you need, the energy that you need, the confidence that you need, the emotions that you need to take you down the, um, the route, the path that you want to go down, mm -hmm. right? to help you create this reality tunnel. Got it. Yeah. Now the other thing that happens is you actually create this very good feel good sensation and the next phase is you hold in your breath in for as long as you can and this is the part where you're drawing up the energy and sending this energy and the blood flow to your brain okay and what happens here is because you're using your sexual energy as well is you raise your vibrational energy you raise your emotional state so you think of the term uh, the word love Mm -hmm. Level of I I I put it into letters, L O V E, the level of vibrational energy. Uh -huh. Okay. So low no love is um, if you think of it in terms of ap uh, emotion is apathy, where you have no love for anyone at all, and not it not even yourself. And a lot of people are in this state. Um, you know they're in this apathetic state. They don't they have no self care. They they don't love their family, they don't even love their, the job they do, and there's this apathetic um, feeling. And, and this is actually a big problem now, like so many people on antidepressants and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so, um, and a lot of severe depression, and even moderate depression where you're, you can't get out of bed, mm -hmm. um, which happens to a lot of people actually, mm -hmm. um, uh, is a state of very low energy, very low vibrational mm -hmm. energy, low, and these, states of mind is impossible to manifest anything because mm -hmm. you don't even have the energy to get out of bed mm -hmm. so using breathing techniques and cultivating sexual energy we can actually raise our level of vibrational energy raise our love using music mm -hmm. using these mm -hmm. techniques and we can move more into the states of joy and passion and passion is the biggest predictor of flow if we can get to that state of passion, okay? So if you think of life and reality, the way we experience it is through emotion, through feeling, mm -hmm. right? How we feel and our moods is how we experience life. It's our quality of life is dependent on that. 
So using these brain, brain uh, this um, breathing techniques and uh, music and soma, we can get into states of passion, mm -hmm. right? And when we raise our vibrational energy and we transmute sexual energy and get through these ecstatic states of passion and joy and bliss, um, and if we're using like self-programming techniques, we can really make magic happen. Mm -hmm. This is the, known in uh, the tantra, tantric world as sex magic. Aha, uh -huh, I see, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So basically what you're doing is you, you've, like ex you've exhaled all your breath. Yeah. And then you're holding, um, you're like not breathing in for as long as possible until you start to activate uh, the hypoxia. Yeah. And then once you cannot stand it anymore, then you breathe in and you raise like your your energy, like and activate your bundas again, and just like yeah. you know, like raise all your you know regenerative energy back up. And then do you hold your full breath? Yes. At all? Like, do you, do you then you hold your breath uh -huh. for around 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, okay. And you apply the locks and you, you um, which I can show you how to do, and you, you, you literally, at this point, will feel this electricity shoot up your spine uh -huh. like this. And this is when you are getting this DMT-like effects and this psychedelic orgasm because it Got feels it. orgasmic at this point. Uh -huh. And um, so this is the thing. So... And this can explain why the DMT effects. Nobody quite understands, mm -hmm. like why breath work can create. It. Nobody knows the full mechanics. Yeah, it's it's fascinating yeah. because you know, like this method um, that you describe, um, I find really effective in um, making that DMT effect effect happen. Kind of, it, it feels for me very much like a full body tingling. It starts with the fingers, and then there's kind of like this, you know, just. Um, this vibration and colors and uh, and just kind of I mean it's, it's very perceptible mm. um, and it's interesting too that you know the circular breathing um, through the breath breath of bliss method is also also activates that but in a different way and uh, yeah but I, I have a theory of why it works so okay. what is your theory so basically the um, the time when we do produce tryptamines, we don't actually produce it. Nobody knows quite for sure if we produce DMT or not. DMT is found in plants, but we make our own endogenous tryptamines, right? Mm -hmm. And the tryptamines are what are associated with psychedelic lucid states. So there's serotonin, dopamine, and melatonin, okay? So the time we have the biggest psychedelic trip um, ever is every night when we go to sleep. During the REM state, we dream. And the dr that dream state, the REM state, is when we have the most psychedelic time, but we're not really conscious of it. Mm -hmm. But it is the most, think of what a lucid dream is like, mm -hmm. how psych, you can't get more psychedelic than mm -hmm. that. That's like you're in a completely different reality. And if you can control the lucid dreams, uh -huh. it's like, it's, it's the like most being, magical like ever, Wonderland, right? yeah. Yeah, you can't compare, <laughs> no psychedelic gets you to that point, it's insane. But, and this is all coming from within. So what happens during this breathing state, if you look at the patterns of breathing during this time, you will, you will um, breathe in a kind of a faster rhythmical way uh, for a, a period, and then you pause and you, you hold your breath. It's known as apnea. Some people have very long periods of apnea which can cause problems. Um, but which is known as sleep apnea, but we all wait, we all do this. We have a moment where we hold our breath, okay, and then we start this rap rapid breathing again, then we hold our breath, and then we do the rapid breathing again, and we hold our breath, and you'll find the eyes are like moving around like this, okay, and that's a rapid eyeball movement, and this is a signal that you are in the dream world, mm -hmm. okay. Um, and this is also the time when you have the most res restorative uh, effects on the mind, the brain, regeneration around the body, okay? So what we're doing with Soma is we're mimicking that part mm -hmm. consciously. We're consciously uh, breathing fast and rhythmical and then holding our breath and then doing it again. And we're doing it progressively over a period of time. And quite often what happens in my workshops Mm -hmm. um, in my ceremonies is that uh, people will um, get into that point where 
at one point they'll hold their breath and then and you'll see their eyes are like it's like they've, they've passed out and their eyes are rapidly moving like this you'll see it and i'll come over to them just to make sure they're okay and they then they'll come around and they'll be like oh my god where am i <laughs> and it's like they've gone on this huge trip and this is because they've entered into consciously into this dreamlike state uh this rem state by just by the power of breathing mm -hmm. it's amazing it's powerful Got it.